Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. You are listening to the Brilliant Business Show. I am your host, Mark Stephen Pula. Conversations with leading experts in business. And today I have the most incredible guest, Austin J. Haynes. Austin is a best selling author and international speaker. And our topic today is Flashpoint, the art and science of your big breakthrough. Austin, welcome to the Brilliant Business Show. Mark, it is an honor and a privilege to be with you. I've followed your journey, and it's a great time for you and I to finally connect on this platform. I am extremely excited to talk with you today. I'm really looking forward to a conversation with you today, Austin. Before I get started, I just need to make a legal disclaimer that Austin is not offering legal advice or legal assistance. So let's get started with the show. Austin, you have a new book coming out called Flashpoint. Can you share with our listeners a little bit about you and your new book? I would uh, love that. I'd be honored to share because that's really what the book is about. It's about the listener's big breakthrough. Um, I've had a long journey to get to this point. And as I say, a lot of times, sometimes we need to delve into the complex in order to get back to and fully understand the simple. (laughs) And so that's really what this is. You know, and the question is, does success have a moment when it happens? Is there a moment when you know you're successful? And the answer to that question really points to the big breakthrough. And there there is a moment when there's a validation point. There's a series of breakthroughs in anyone's journey. But there's one breakthrough that is a crowning moment. And I I love the fact that you're in the UK. And I'll I'll just give you a quick example, if you will, because I love this story about Elton John about Elton John starting his music career and creating beautiful music with his writer, working hard, getting with the record label, and they had some success. But it wasn't until they got a call from Los Angeles and they booked a, a club night with at the Troubadour, which is a very famous club in L.A., and Elton John was able to get that booking with his agent. He played a show that wowed everyone. And the rest is history because within months later, he was filling stadiums with thousands upon thousands of people. And so that is a flashpoint. You know, there, there was success, right? And a lot of times we're, when we're in that early success, we can be in the, on that roller coaster and it doesn't feel good all the time. But then there's a moment when you break through. And that's why I love the Elton John story, because that, that one booking that he got launched his career <laughs> and he was truly a rocket man after that. I'm liking this concept of breakthrough and I'm understanding it a little bit more now, Austin. I suppose it's a little bit like for success, there are many steps along the way, but there are definitely big, big milestones that t- what rocket you forward. So there are breakthroughs along that way. Am I getting this right, Austin? Yes. Absolutely. Perfect. Austin, can you share a little bit about your business as well? What do you do? I'm glad you asked that question, Mark. I recently resigned from a 19-year run with the same company. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I I had great success in that journey. I could have stayed in that journey. I I did very well financially. I was probably in the top 10% income bracket, somewhere in there, 10 to, I would say 10 to 15%. I was in that top income earners and I had a very, very bright future, but uh, there was another calling for me 
And I had a, I had a long journey, my, uh, my brother, I call you my brother, but I had a long journey because I took the long road. Before that success happened, I, I struggled for many years. I was on the verge of bankruptcy. I had gone through many broken relationships. I battled with low self-esteem. I fortunately overcame uh, some substance abuse with, the, with alcohol. I was, I was heading down a, a very, very uh, dark road, as you would say, um, b- before that. But fortunately, through the grace of God and through some great people in my, in my world that loved me, uh, when, when I didn't really fully love myself, I was able to pull, pull out of that with that help and start a, a new trajectory. And so you talk about going through, going through the hard times of life, and we, we all can relate to those times because we all share those times where we go through those difficult, difficult moments. And when we're in them, it's really hard to see the forest from the trees. So to get to where I'm at now, to be talking about, you know, the big breakthrough, I never forget where I came from, and I never forget how low I felt, and I never forget having felt like a failure, having messed up. I don't forget that. And why don't I forget that? Because I don't forget that because it reminds me of where I came from. And it instantly produces feelings of gratitude. And it propels me and excites me and fires me up to move forward to serve uh, on a greater scale through my speaking platform, through my life coaching business. You know, they're the two mediums that I take all of this and I, I funnel all my energy through to help people get to their big breakthrough. I related to you on so many different levels there. Substance abuse, yes. Low self-esteem, yes. And we're talking about breakthrough today. It sounds like you have had a big breakthrough being able to leave your job and set up all these new exciting things on your journey. Can you share with us, Austin, who are your customers? Who are your clients? Who do you look after? That's a great question. And I also want to share with you another story when we, when we get a point about a, a flashpoint that I had in my earlier journey. So if we can you know, re- remember that. But I'll tell you that what's interesting, Mark, is that the clients that I'm getting are typically life coaches, influencers. I've had the opportunity to work with um, – you know, some people on, on social media that, that have a large following, they're very well-known influencers. And they tend to reach out to me because no matter where you are, you, you're looking for a big breakthrough. And typically the, the high achievers, they're the ones that they get, they get a lot of success through their own efforts, but then they plateau. And what ends up happening is they start to realize that although all the skills and ability that they've had and they've used to get them to where they are, it's not going to get them to where they need to go. And so usually I get the opportunity. These people are reaching out to me organically. Now I don't do a whole lot of marketing. I don't do any paid marketing or anything like that. It's uh, they, they know about me. They know my background and they know my, my skill set to, to be able to help them get to that next big breakthrough. And I'm really loving this and there are so many great influences and I suppose working together as a team it really helps to get your message out to a wider audience and it's great that you're getting to touch so many people's lives. Tell me about this flashpoint moment while we're on the topic Austin. Yeah thank you for bringing that back up. I want to share with you when I started my career I say I was lucky, but, you know, they say the harder you work, the luckier you get. But um, I ended up getting a job in a a very, very large company in in corporate sales. And I, let me say, I don't have a college degree. I I literally got very lucky. I I always say, you know, they were closing the door to say no. And I kind of stuck my foot in the door and said, no, 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 you know, that kind of thing. And uh, fortunately, I, I got hired almost like on a probationary kind of a way. And uh, sure enough, about a year in, maybe a year and a half in, I'm not doing well. I'm battling because, you know, I I have a saying, and this is for Flashpoint, where you're coming from is more important than where you're going to. And as I tell this story, I want want 
people to understand that. So if I'm coming from a place of low self-esteem, even though I've used my persistence and my tenacity to get this job, my low self-esteem is still there. So here I am working hard, but because of my attitude and the mentality that I'm coming from, which is almost at an unconscious level, you just know you don't feel right. I end up getting written up. I end up basically getting a letter that says, if you do not perform, we are going to have to part ways. So that was a very critical moment in my, in my journey. And that was a very painful moment because it wasn't about just getting the letter. It was about the trigger because what it ends up doing is triggering that deeper lack of worth that you feel at your core. And so that letter did that. Fortunately, I had something inside of me kept me going. And shortly after I broke through, I had a flat, I, I, I can't really tell you the whole recipe right now because I'd be getting into the book, but I started to use flash flashpoint. I started to use flashpoint at that moment. And it was in that moment where I got a breakthrough and I got through to a guy who led me to multiple sales. And then that flashpoint moment triggered me on to become one of the top performers in the company for the past 19 years. That's so a really that, powerful. The, and, and the thing is, that was Flashpoint. I didn't know it. You know, so now I'm more conscious of it. And as you, before we get into the next question, I, I really want to make a point that that's what this book is about. It's how to create a breakthrough moment and not just relying on luck or waiting or just let me try this. You know, there's a, there's a recipe for this. And really, that's what it is. Well, I'm sure all our listeners would like a bit of that recipe, Austin. <laughs> Austin, <laughs> what really motivates you to jump out of bed every single morning? I'm going to give you and your listeners some uh, gold right now. Every morning is different, okay? Because I'll tell you, I could give you just a canned answer and just say, oh, I'm excited every morning and I jump out of bed. But that would not be the truth. The truth is every morning is different. But what I lean into is my purpose. And my purpose is to serve others. And what I do every day, just as a new ritual that I started, you write down one reason a day at minimum. When you start your day, you write down one reason why you're going to move forward. And the idea is to get to the deepest reason you can. And I promise you, you pause for a moment and you really acknowledge that reason. You won't have to force yourself to do anything. You will get into action organically and you'll feel empowered doing it. Austin, just those couple of tips, what you have shared, getting into your purpose on a morning, writing down one reason, that, those are going to have a massive impact on your day. Because when you first wake up, what you put into your mind is so important so really getting into your purpose first thing on the morning that could really help people to move forward so I really love that can you share with our listeners Austin what sets your business apart and what unique need are you filling for your customers that's a great question I tell people and I tell my clients that you move forward with intention to serve and then the people you're serving will reflect back to you even more of what they want. And there's a, there's a quote that says, let your mission find you serving. A lot of people want to figure everything out right from the beginning. And it would be nice if that was the case, but it's not the case. What the case is, is to move forward based on what you know in the moment. Serve with what you feel in the moment and your mission will catch you serving. 
and you will craft it over time and people will reflect back to you what that is. Now for me, I kind of gave you a little bit of a hint of the people that reach out to me. I tend to, I tend to get a lot of women who are in the uh, holistic space that are life coaches, authors, influencers, those type of people are, they're becoming my clients. And, and that to me is, is more than myself thinking who my clients are. I, it's really about looking at the people that are reaching out to you and, and asking yourself, who are they? Cause that's your, your avatar and your client. And then what am I doing to serve them? And, and, and what can I do to serve them more? And there you can get your answer for that question. I love that. And when you're coming from a place of honesty, integrity and service, that in itself is a recipe for success, Austin. Now, Austin, I want to go back to your new book that is due to be released soon, which is called Flashback. Can you share a little bit about this book? If someone goes and gets Flashback, what can they expect from this book? Well. First of all, I just want to, it's flashpoint, but, uh, you know, it, it's funny you said the word flashback because, uh, that, that word it's to say, I love the way things happen organically. Right. So the book is flashpoint, but what happens with people is people go into their story and they do flashback and they flash back to an old way of r- operating. And you, you can't, create your breakthrough you can't create your flashpoint if you're in a state of flashback so i love that you said that (laughs) i don't know where flashback came from austin i've actually seen your book and it's just popped into (laughs) my mind (laughs) everything happens for a reason so a lot of times when we're in a state of flashback we don't know we're there and we're trying to create a future we're trying to create a breakthrough from that state and we can't do it. So, um, so what, what people can expect from Flashpoint is a, a, a recipe. Uh, there's a, a lot of success material out there, there there's a, that people gobble up every day and, and they get results from it. And this is, it's not overly complicated, it's quite simple, but it distills the essence of something that is very dynamic. A lot of the material you'll read and you'll research is very static. One, two, three, four, five. And certainly there's steps in there. We need those steps. But the flashpoint process is a very dynamic, vulnerable thing. And and that's what this book does while it creates the how to create the breakthrough. It makes you very aware of the dynamic nature of all of it. Well, you have certainly sold that to me. I definitely would like a copy of Flashpoint, Austin. Now, Austin, can you share more detail on the kind of service and products you offer? Yes. What I'm working on right now is a very uh, high-end mastermind. I won't get too much into the details of that. Uh, That's for a a select group of individuals. So if you're a listener and you're thinking, oh, I want to be involved in something like that. Well, that's something that we are going to open up later this year on a larger quantity. But in the interim, I also have a community called the Power Forward Community. And that's a group of um, all different kinds of people that participate in that. And that's a, you know, that's a very uh, easy, easy entry point to get into that. And then I also do some one-on-one. I don't do a whole lot of one-on-one. I take them one-on-one on on a select basis, depending on the person. I'm going to be speaking in Canada at the the beginning of February at an event called iLead. Exciting. iLead Summit. Yeah. And, and then from there, I, I, uh, well, actually I do have some exciting news. I, I can share if it's okay. This is, this is the first time that this is going public, but I can share this with you if you'd like. Yes, please. Okay. 
So I am going to be on a, I'm going to have my own television show on a local internet, uh, internet TV station. And that is also going to fuel the launch of my podcast, which is going to, going to be launched in the first quarter of, of this year as well. So this is brand new news, Mark. You're the first one to get that. So that's pretty exciting. And I will look forward to an invitation to be a guest on your television show, Austin. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, Austin, I would imagine you have all sorts of client success stories. What is one that really stands out in your mind? That is a great question. There, there's so many success stories that... Um that I could re- re- lean on and relate to, but um, I would say, you know, or going back to my early days when I first started this, uh, one of my, uh, you actually, you probably know Emilio. So Emilio worked with me early on and yes. he's had a lot of success. He's got, he's got a co-authorship that he's launched. He's, he's doing, doing incredible, things. isn't he, Austin, in such a short space yes. of time. He's really, really, yes. um, really doing well. Good, good, good on him. He's such a great person. Yeah. And so he was at one of my first events where there was about 20 people in the room. And uh, he was, yeah, he showed up and it's been, it's been amazing to, to watch his journey and to, to watch the trajectory that, that he's on. And, um, you know, I couldn't be more excited. And I have, I have other clients as well that are, that are, um, you know, their incomes are going up and I, and this the mastermind that I'm launching here, we have a, a minimum, we want, we want to a, a double your income and your impact this year at a very minimum. So the minimum is double your in, income and your impact in 2020. And you know what I like about that, Austin? It's achievable. Sometimes I do believe it's great to set big, big goals. But at the same time, if you set something like that, you can really go out and nail that goal, can't you? You can. I don't get swayed by the the marketing. There's a lot of marketing out there. And I don't care where you are. I don't care who you are. If you double your income and your impact, you're still feeling pretty good about it. Now, if you're a high achiever and you double it, you're t- you could be going at well into the millions or more. Definitely. But even if you're in the, into the thousands, right? If you're making 50,000 US dollars and you've made that, and then this year you make 100, and then you, you impact double the amount of people, there's a good chance you can, once you learn how to do that, there's a good chance you can go you can add more onto that because you start to build momentum. So I love the, you know, the, the marketing terms, 10 X and hundred X, you see these things, they're great buzzwords, but everybody can relate to doubling everyone. I, I agree with you totally there. So Austin, how do clients typically hear about you? And are there certain life moments that usually lead to them seeking you out? That's a great question, Mark. What typically happens is people will find me either on social media or through a friend. Now, I am excited to to talk to you about something where people will find out more about me, and it's something that I feel is going to serve people at a very, I would say, let's just say when they need it most. And I, I, I just launched a project called emergencylifecoach.com. I know we don't have time to get into the details, but all, they, all people need to know is if they are going in a, in a crisis situation where they are dealing with a, a loss of a job, a breakup, they can instantly go to Emergency Life Coach and be talking to somebody in an hour. Not only that, there's a free coping activity they can get instantly. So this is something that was up from my heart to launch because I know people get in very vulnerable moments and sometimes family and friends do more harm than good. So this was a way for me to say, let's get this up and running. I got, I got some coaches in there now they're waiting for people and I have two, two more coaches that are ready to come on once our volume increases. But I really wanted to get that out there just because that's where, you know, when, when people are in their greatest need, a lot of times there's not a whole lot of services there other than the suicide hotline. And we're not a suicide 
hotline. I have a connection to the suicide hotline. But if it's not suicide, but you're in a tough situation and you need to talk to somebody, where do you go? It's hard to schedule a life coach. I mean, they, usually it's a day or, or a few days or a week. Here, you can be talking to somebody in an hour. So I just wanted to get that out there. And through that, people are going to find me even more through that channel. And I think it's important to share that because there will be a lot of people out there that definitely need that kind of support. Austin, I find your work fascinating. I've enjoyed our conversation today. Can you share with our listeners when is Flashpoint available? Where will people go to get their hands on Flashpoint? The book will be released in the spring of this year. My target is May. My target is May. And uh, I'll be getting out more details on the date as far as the date will, will be released in the upcoming months. But my target is to get it out in May. And I suppose you will be leaving your contact details shortly so people can reach out to you or check your website to get their hands on the book when it is released. So that brings me to my last question, Austin. How can people connect with you? How can people follow you on social media? Thank you, Mark. I appreciate that. There's a really easy way to do it. It's Austin's. 360.com and uh, I, I have a website but I, I don't really use it that much because austins 360.com everything's there it's easy all my social media are there there's an in, there's an introductory video there so it's a u s t i n s 360.com that'll take you right there and also there's a link for emergency coach uh, dot com emergency life coach is there as well Austin, thanks. Thank you so much for being a guest on the Brilliant Business Show today. I've really enjoyed having a conversation with you. Mark, thank you so much. I've honored your work. I've followed you and I'm so glad that we've had an opportunity to have this discussion today. And I'm looking forward to more in the future with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have been listening to the Brilliant Business Show. I am your host, Mark Stephen Pula. Conversations with leading experts in business. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.